Hi, I'm Heather Primero, and today we're going to show you how to assemble your Dingo cabinet. The Dingo will arrive at your house in four separate boxes. It does come in white or teak and will match any of our kangaroo cabinets. One of the features of the Dingo is it's a storage unit, so it has nine drawers. Uh, the bottom drawer is the largest and will support a serger or a small sewing machine. The top is 40 by 46, and we do sell a separate mat that you can put on top of this so that you can have a cutting surface. And back here, there is a leg room, so if you have a stool, you can place a stool down and sit and do some piecing. What's great about the dingo is when you're done and you want to fold it up, take your mat off, fold it up. The doors feature a lock on them, so if you want to keep the kids out, you lock it up and secure it. This is our dingo. In step one, part one, we are going to begin inserting all of our cam bolts into multiple panels. So as you can see, you want to make sure that your cam bolt is flush with the panel. And by doing so, you're going to use your drill or an electric screwdriver. And if for any reason you have a bit of difficulty getting it flush to the panel, you can put a little WD-40 in the opening prior to drilling. And moving on, we are going to begin with our panel A, which has 10 cam bolts, panels X, panel Z, which both have two, panel L, which has four, and then with our drawer assembly, starting with panel K through panel K7. And as you can see, this is a fully assembled one. And by doing so, you'll be inserting multiple cam bolts into the panels as well for the drawers. So in step one, for the final part, we are going to take part L, which are two lock plates. And with that, you're going to line them up with the two holes at the edge of panel A. And then you will take either an electric screwdriver or your power drill and you're going to drill in the S1 screws, and in the end, it should look similar to this. Moving on in step one, we are going to begin inserting the D1 dowels. As you can see here, each of these dowels, we normally go at the end of the panels, and you wanna make sure that when you insert the dowels that they go in the middle. You do not want to insert them next to the metal cams, so stay in the middle. And when you insert these dowels, they're going to go into panel X, panel Z, panel Y, and in our K panels, 5, K6, 7, K8, and then also into K1, 2, and 3. Continuing to step two, you will see we have two cam bolts. You'll want to make sure that those are inserted in the metal threads. And with that, we will have 12 dowel pins. And those will go, those will go on the sides of panel D. So you'll have four on one side, four on the other, and then two on one side. And again, that's your panel D. We're moving on to our panel Vs. We'll have a V2, V1. And we are going to attach the hinges. These are your G1 hinges. And they will pop in just as so. And with that, you're going to use two S1 screws. And you will go ahead and find your pilot holes, line those up. And once you get those lined, you will then Use your power drill or electric screwdriver and you'll go ahead and drill those in and you will have six in total for your G1 hinges. Continue with our panels V1 and V2. After you have attached all the hinges, we're then going to move on to attaching the lock. So you will take your lock, which is part L, and we're going to insert it into the hole here with an you're going to align it with the pilot holes and you want to make sure that the locking bar on your part L is facing towards the end of the panel. And then with that you're going to take four S3 screws and you're going to 
insert them in the pilot holes and then you're going to take your drill or your power screwdriver and you're going to then attach that. And once you have attached the part L, so once the lock is attached, you will then have, it will look like this once you flip the panel over and if you will notice that when you flip it over there will be a gap. So you're going to take this ring and as you can see here, you're going to just go ahead and insert it and you're going to just push down and it'll pop right in over there to fill in that gap. And then once you've completed that, we're going to move on to our handle. So you're going to take your handle, which is your part H, and then you're going to take your two B2 screws with that. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and insert your B2 screws right into the pilot holes and then you're going to turn over your handle H and you will see the holes here. You want to line those up with your screws. You want to go ahead and get those started. And when you do this, you want to use a Phillips head screwdriver. You do not want to use a drill for any of the handles. So you can line that up. And you will start to attach that and once that is attached your end result will look like this so this is your handle in step three we're going to begin assembling the dingo we are going to begin with panels x y and z and we will be attaching those to panel your back panel d so as we move over here we're going to grab our panel x and as you can see, we want to attach the cam bolts, and we're going to insert those into the cams. And also, you'll align the dowel pins into the holes as well. And once you have them inserted, then you're going to go ahead and we're going to tighten our cams. And we're going to turn those clockwise all the way until they are tightened. There you go. And that will be the same process for Y and Z as well. In step four, we are going to take our bottom panel G and we're going to attach our T2 casters and there are a total of five. And what you want to do is you want to align the caster with the pre-drilled holes. You're going to take your B2 bolt and you're going to hand screw them in as far as you can. And then you'll repeat that on all four sides, and then we are going to tighten them. Until they are tight. And then you're going to repeat that with all five casters. Continuing in step four with panel G, we have now locked all four of the outside casters. We have flipped that panel over, and now we have our C1 cam bolts, which there'll be a total in 10 that you need to either drill or use your electric screwdriver. In step five, we have taken panel G and have attached that to our assembled panels. And to do that, we need to take on panels X, we need the X, Y, and Z, we need to remove the bottom drawer runners. And what that will do, that'll expose your cams so that you can tighten them. And once you've removed those, then you're going to go ahead and tighten the cams.
as you can see, now it's all flush and you're going to do this. There'll be a total of 10 cams that you'll need to tighten along. And once you've tightened all your cams, you're then going to reattach your drawer runners. In step six, we are going to place panel A, the top panel, onto the assembled below panels. And you want to align the cam bolts and the dowel pins. And once you have placed that on the top, you are then going to tighten your cam bolts at the top and there will be a total of 10 of these to tighten on each side. In step eight, we're going to begin assembling the drawers. You're going to take your panel L1, your panel L2, and you're going to slide in your panel L4. And once you've done that, then you're going to make sure that your L1 is lined up with the bolts. And then there's also an opening here in the back, which it will slide into for your L4. And you're gonna slide those in there. Make sure it's all tightly attached. And then you're going to tighten your cam bolts on each side here. that'll be for both sides. And once those are tightened, then you're going to take your L3, you're going to place it on the top here. And once that's lined up, you will take your S2 screws, these black screws, you will place them. Take your S2 screws, you're going to place those here, line them up, and then take your electric drill or your electric screwdriver, and you're going to drill those in. And then once you're done, then your drawer will look like this. And you will repeat this step seven times. In step 11, we are going to assemble the last of our drawers and with that we are going to demonstrate step 11 but in step 10 it's the exact same drawer assembly just with different panel names. So we want to begin on step 11 with the bottom drawer panel and with that then you're going to attach the back panel and then you're going to connect the bolts to the side panels. And please make sure that when you're attaching the bottom panel that the smooth side is facing inward and that your cams are facing at the bottom of the drawer. Once you have those attached, then you're going to take your top panel and align the cam bolts and the dowels. You're going to press those in and then you're going to make sure that your cams are tightened. and you're going to do that for each side. After you've put all the drawers in the cabinet, we're going to move on to our final step. We're going to attach our support panels, which are panels one and zero two and we're going to attach this to the back of the cabinet. And to do so, we are going to take our S1 screws, and once you have aligned your hinges with the pilot holes on the back of the cabinet, you will then complete it by drilling in or using an electric, electric screwdriver and to finish attaching that.